guys, I uh, got a fun little project here I'm working on. I'm building a 2 meter uh, super antenna, super J pole antenna, sometimes called a cactus antenna. Uh, traditional J pole, you've got a, a long line and then a J, right, forming the J, match end. Um, this is a little bit different though, it's going to have a coil of copper, like a, a, a ring of copper and then a top portion. There's a link in the description, but it basically tells you for a given frequency, in this case I'm targeting uh, 144, right, 2 meter, um, that you're going to need a top section of 38.46, a bottom of 57.68, and a match of 19.23, and this is all copper plumbing. So let's get to work uh, doing some cutting, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like coming together. Why is this funny? Funny. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've got pieces kind of press fit here with flux. A um, couple of points to note, right? So this is the, here's the joiner piece for the bottom that goes in here. So there's your bottom part. Um, this is threaded because I'm going to use this as an insulator to separate the top part from the bottom part and then this will be um, brazed onto it to wrap around. So uh, let me go ahead and get heat to all these. Do this last, uh, heat this up, get this all uh, brazed on and then tin the ends. I'll show you what that looks like before you go ahead and, and uh, attach this. You don't want to melt this part. So let's put some heat to it. Make sure you use rosin on everything. So um, make sure you do really clean too. Yeah. Make, yeah. All right. So got a vice grip holding a steady the table. Here's some solder. This is gonna get real hot. So um, might have want to make sure you've got some fire extinguisher. I've got a bucket of water here, just in case. And you gotta let this air cool. So you heat it up, solder it, let it air cool. Do not quench it. Do not do anything like that. Uh, that's just good copper brazing 101. I'm not sure which of these gas is full anymore, so. Um. That's it.
I significantly cooked the crap out of that, so. All right. Last one. This guy right here. There we go. Let's try this again. All right, Ben, hot. Be careful. Hot. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of solder. All right. Now I'm gonna get away from the smoke. What happened, bud? Let it cool. And there's a lot of solder in there now because the both joints and it's probably in the middle. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it, leave it. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, let's uh, wrap this puppy up. I'm on a 144.658, and I hit my SWR, and it's about 1.2, a little over that. Um, and it's probably higher because I'm only broadcasting at 5 watts. So here's my mount uh, right there. It's clamped to the side of my patio. It's got a kind of good gain. Uh, I'm going to try and get it up on the, the side of my house right here, or uh, the roof over there at some point. Sounds pretty good though, um, works fine. Let me go through some of the channels here on my radio. And now nobody's talking, cute. That's APRS, I'll let that play for you. <laughs> So lots of data, propagates pretty well, and it uh, gets out just fine. I'll just tap this one real quick. This is a repeater I normally go to. So um, this is basically it. After SWR, that's the only thing you have to do is mount it and try and keep it away from metal. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Well, it's melting. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> <laughs>